How do you win your points and your matches? My attitude is okay. I can get frustrated. But I work in Austin. Awesome. Yeah. But you didn't answer my question. How do you win the points? How do you win the matches? Oh, yeah. But it's great that you have a positive attitude. <laughs> and I agree that you are very intense. Yeah, try to tire the opponent. Stop. That's how you win? Getting your opponent tired? Yeah. yeah? Break down their mentality. Good? Yeah. So, how are you? Good, thanks. Okay, stop. Good drink. Enzo? Yep. How good is your English? It's fine. <laughs> good enough? Yeah. Okay. Enzo, uh, I mean, you know, I'm just. Uh, so he's using a lot his forehand? Yeah. He yeah. loves to use the forehand. A very powerful shot. Yep. Um, I would like to work a little bit on the on moving around the backhand. So maybe they can play backhand cross. Okay. And uh, as much as you can, you turn around the backhand and you, you stay there. You stay on his backhand for the moment. Okay? Right. Let's do that for a few minutes. Okay, I just want to show you something that I would like you to focus on. Yes. So when you play yeah. your forehand, a, a lot of uh, for quite a long time, long. You stay like this, you're moving like this. And I, what I would like, because if you do what I'm going to tell you, it's going to be much more efficient, is as soon as you know you're going to hit a forehand, the first thing you do is turn the shoulders. So you never run like this. Even when you turn around the backhand, you don't run like this. You first open the shoulders and run. Okay, we do that? Yes. If it's a backhand, it's a backhand. If it's a forehand, pew, let's go. Up. Yes. Great job. Up. Very good. Okay, great. You did it. Excellent. Wait, 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 wait. But even when the ball goes here, don't run like this, run like this, okay? First thing you do when you move, you know if it's going to be a forehand or a backhand. First thing you do, open, open the shoulders, here, and you run, okay? It's easier because if you think about it, it's easier to run like this than to run like this, okay? So whenever your shoulders are turned, you can run this way. I mean, of course, you're facing the, the net, but you can r run normal and you're going to be much faster. Good. Again. Parfait. Yes. Excellent. Great zone. You can finish. Parfait. Stop. Okay. We do the same, Enzo. Whenever you can find the zone here, he's going to be out of the court. Whenever he's out, you can go down the line on the next one. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> when the ball is central like this, it's extremely difficult to hit the zone. Yeah. So you can play deep, deep, more centered. Whenever you have, you have angle, if you prepare early enough, then you can, you can get this one. And then it's out of the court. When it's out of the court, next one, boom. Let's go. Prepare, prepare. Yes. Again. It, whoa. Good job, good job. Up. Good. Up. Yeah. Prepare. Up. That's excellent. Bravo. Perfect. You made it miss. Perfect. Great zone. <laughs> I mean, it's, tennis is quite simple. Huh? Yeah. Uh, the court is not from here to the other side. The court is much bigger. So your, your goal is to have the guy on the other side move past this line, and if he can even move past this line, then the core is fully open. 
Yep. Okay. Yep. Prepare. Good job. Prepare. Yes. Bravo. Yeah. Don't forget your priority is shoulders turn. Okay. As soon as you see, tack. Boom. Yes. Great. Up. Yes. Again, turn. Yes. Good job. If it's really, really far to the backhand, you can hit a backhand, it's fine. Huh? Don't put yourself in a difficult situation. Good job. So just one thing. Just for this zone from from this is it easier to hit the zone from that position here or from that position here? To hit the zone short cross here? Okay. So look. Look how the ball bounces. And look at your movement. Oh, you move back. You see or no? Yeah. When the ball bounces around here, no problem, of course. You, you, you make time. Actually, since you open early, you have a lot of time. I don't know if you realize, you have so much time. Yeah. This time you have, use it to move forward. Yeah. Of course, if the ball is shorter. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Up and move. Good. Again. Good job. Good. Move. Yes, that's the one. That's perfect. 10 out of 10. Bravo. Having time, it's, uh, it's mostly about how you organize. Sometimes you feel you're rushed, but you, it's just because you do things a bit later. Yeah. So whenever you are ready early, then all the options are open. You have time, you create time. And this time you can use it. And you, the best way to use it is to use it to take time away from your opponent and move forward. And then not only you take time away, but also it's easier to open the court and have uh, find the angles because you are closer, you are inside the court. Yeah. Okay. If you prepare late, you have to, you need time because you yeah. prepare late. And what you do, you move backwards because you, you don't have time. Yeah. I, mean, the, I think the difference is really day and night. And I know because when you started to prepare immediately, then you were wondering, why am I waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> you have so much time suddenly. Yeah. Let's do two, the same. You do two, two, uh, two shots there. And on the third one is gonna play down the line to your forehand. Same, open your shoulders first before running. So you can, and then you, the, on the third shot, you can play the point. He just ran to the toilet. He's a bit sick. He's coming back. Oh, okay. I didn't even see. No problem. So I play uh, two uh, cross there and inside. Yeah. Two, two forehand inside out. Okay. On the third one, he plays down the line. Don't anticipate, so it's real. And then you play the point from that position. Right. So if you want to exhaust your opponent, if you open the court even more, he's going to run twice more. Yeah. So the thing you focus on is here, as much as you can inside. And when he goes down the line, turn your shoulders so you can run easier. And then you play where you want. And then you play the point from that position. Let's go! <clears throat> One. Excellent. Excellent zone. Two. Excellent zone. Okay. okay. He didn't open down the line, so he got punished. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was the... Okay, okay. Sorry, I was counting his, not, her, not his. My bad. Good job. Excellent. One.
Good job. Hi. Yeah. Up. Good. You did great at opening the shoulders there. Actually, you played really good. It's not a reflex yet. You, you really run like this. You have to forget that. Because if you run like this, you'll be late most of the time. Now you run like this. Do it without the ball. Go. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Allez, up. Move up. Parfait. When you play a short cross zone, it's easier. Come here. I want you to be here. So imagine you, you he is playing short cross and you are in that position. Yeah. How easy is it to play down the line on this one? No, no, it's not. No. <laughs> so you protect yourself from the down the line when you're moving around your backhand. Yeah. And even if he tries to play down the line, the ball is going to come back to the yeah. center. Yeah. So it's going to be easier for you to get. Okay. Yes. That's why it's important to find this angle. Yes. Great. Okay. Uh. Up. Bien. Allez. Go, go. Go. When you hit a good shot like this and you want to follow at the net, if you stay there, you stay there. You stop here. Your ball is still moving. You keep moving and covering the line. Come here, up, and then after you have an easy shot. Okay? Keep following your ball until he hits it. When he hits it, boom, you stop. And then you move again forward. Let's go. And go. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Up and move. Bien. And move. Good. Go on, turn, 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 turn. So, he played a high ball. And most of the things you do are great. I just want you to be fully, fully uh, focused on it. He played a high short ball and you stayed like this, like waiting. You're not waiting, <laughs> okay? The ball is high, a bit, a bit short. First thing, you go here and you start to organize to take it early and finish it, okay? okay. If his ball is slow, you still fast. Okay. Up and move. Great job. Excellent shot. Excellent shot. Go. C'est bien, c'est bien. Again, go. Yes. Bravo. Even if you're in trouble, accelerate your hand. Just put more spin. If you feel it's an insecure, put more spin, but never slow down. When you slow down, it's where you lose control, okay? Go, go, go. Yes. Great. Great. Again. Move. Great. Uh, you win next one. Don't stay far. If you're far from the line, too easy to drop shot you. Okay? If you really have to move back, really, really, you do. But right after you hit your shot, you play deep. You look for a deep zone so you can come back straight away. Allez, allez. Go forward, 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 forward. 
Good. Come back. Hey, right, good drink. <laughs> how do you feel preparing early? Strange or huh? no, how do you feel preparing earlier? Opening your shoulders early. How do you feel about it? Strange? No, I no? feel good because I have so much more time. Mm -hmm. to... Good. Yeah. Good. Keep doing it and keep using the time. Yeah. Uh, don't force yourself because sometimes the ball is deep and you don't have that much time. It's okay. You stay there. But whenever you feel I'm ready and I still have time, then use it forward. Boom. One step or two steps, whatever, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with the backhand. Huh? As soon as you see the ball coming to your backhand, and you move. Uh, just one thing. When you turn around the backhand and you hit a forehand from that position down the line, it has to be a winner because you see how far you are for the next one. <laughs> okay, so when you play down the line, I think it's better to hit backhand because he knows you're going to go there. So. When you're running far there, well, one goal. I mean, if you can, you can hit back. If you can't, play deep and high, so you have time to come back. If you play a bit close to the net and it takes early, you're done, okay? Good depth. Prepare, prepare, okay. Smart because you played high and you played central. You don't give him angle. Very good. Okay, so you're doing well, but your backhand down the line is always defensive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's okay. Most of the time it's defensive because he's playing deep, so that's fine. Your goal still is to find a way for him to give you a ball on which you can come in and attack down the line. Okay. If you can't, you can't, but try to as much as you can. That's a very good shot. Open, open. Yes. Parfait. I know you feel you lost the point, but you won the point. He, he, he hit the ball out much earlier in the rally because you played an excellent deep backhand and you made him miss. Okay. Turn and move. Good job. So good. So much better. We finish on this one? Yes, sir. Yes. Stop. How was it? Tired. You tired? Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, I want to see the king of the net. You. We're going to do some approach and you have one goal is to commit 100%. So when you're at the net, you don't have time to think or, or maybe, no, there's no maybe. The ball comes, you move to the ball, boom, you finish the point. Okay? And you trust 100% that it's going to work. Otherwise, for sure it's not going to work. <laughs> okay? Okay, so at the net. So you're going to approach that down the line and then you play the point, okay? He's going to try to pass you. At the net, the key is the movement. That's the key. 
Because here there is nothing happening. You just stay in front and you just push the ball. You push the ball, that's it. So, even if he plays fast to the side, if you are going backwards, you're done. So even if the ball is far to the side and, and even if it's fast, you move always towards the ball. Bam! Okay, on both sides, okay? And then you see what's happening. First do it and then we talk. But first... Yes, you, it gives you a, a short ball, you go down the line, hop, and then you play the point. And then he's going to give you one from the forehand, one from the backhand, one from the forehand, one from the backhand. Drop the racket, drop it. Okay. Catch the ball as close to the net as you, as you can, okay? Ready? Go. Go, go, go. Sorry. Do it again. Yeah. Ready? Okay, again. Good. Again. Go. Okay, perfect this one. Go. Parfait. Okay. Now take your racket. Play. Excellent. Excellent. Go, go. Okay, perfect. This sprint makes the difference between hitting the volley here and this is a very easy volley or being a bit further and having the ball here <laughs> because it's dropping fast. So that's why this sprint is so important. The closer you are to, to the net, the easier the volley. Okay? Go! Yeah. You know you didn't sprint? You didn't sprint on this one. No, go fast with your leg. Don't think about the volley, just think about being close to the net. With your racket here. Boom. Let's go. Go. Parfait. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Early. If he didn't know you would play here, you would, hit, you would win the point every time. It's easier for him. Okay, we do the same, but now, now we can play anywhere and follow at the net. Okay, so just take early and play deep. You understand it, so you can play cross or down the line. You choose. Okay, good. If you take early and you play deep, you're gonna win 90% of the points. Go go! Parfait. And so, great job. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Great job, Enzo. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Max. Appreciate it.